we are going to look at working with zero and one in ratios to understand how zero and one work in ratio we're going to consider some examples here we have the picture of a dog two boys and two girls here we have two boys to ratio of two girls to the ratio of one dog and this ratio is a part to part ratio for a part to whole ratio we are going to count the number of the population here we have one two three four and five for the boys part to whole is going to be two to ratio five and for the girls it will be two to ratio five and for the dog is going to be one to ratio five this is a representation of part to whole and this is two to ratio five and this is also two to ratio five while for the dog this is one to ratio five in any given ratio you are either dealing with part to part or part to whole next let's consider this example we have four kids two boys and two girls in this example we're going to represent the ratio for the boys to ratio girls to be two ratio two and this is part to part in fractional form this can be represented as two to ratio two and if we divide this two we go into this one and two we go here one whenever we have one as a ratio it doesn't matter whether if it is three to ratio three or four to ratio four or eight to ratio eight or even hundred to ratio hundred each of these will definitely return one it doesn't matter whether if you're considering the ratio of dogs to cats or pen to pencils as long as they are equal we conclude that the ratio is one to ratio one one to ratio one is usually called the equivalent ratio of the given numbers as long as what you're comparing are equal it is one to one ratio for the complete video course on this subject click the link in the description or in the pinned comment section next here we have four boys and three girls in this picture if we consider part to part the boys is four to ratio three for boys to ratio girls and for girls to ratio boys is going to be three to ratio four you must respect the name that comes first we can equally write this as four to ratio three and we can write this as three to ratio four when we are considering part to part but for part to whole the total number is four plus three which is seven the boys are four here is going to be four to ratio seven while the girls are three we're going to have three to ratio seven or this is four to ratio seven and this is three to ratio seven when we are considering parts to whole the analysis of parts to parts and parts to whole are slightly different now that you can recall part to part and part to whole also you know we can generate 
one in a ratio and when any of these happens we say we have a one to one ratio in this example we are going to consider 18 kids and here we have 17 boys and only one girl and we can represent the ratio in the boys to ratio girl will be 17 to 1 which is same as 17 over 1 and when you have 17 over 1 this can be just only 17 when we are dealing with part to part but if the girls comes first here we are going to be having 1 to ratio 17 which is same as 1 over 17 in ratio you won't throw this one away because the representation could be confusing for part to whole we're going to have 17 plus 1 we have a total of 18 kids the ratio of the boys here is 17 to ratio 18 and for the girl is 1 to ratio 18 when we are considering part to whole let's consider this image here we have six people and one is a man five are ladies for men to ratio women we're going to have one to ratio five and for women to ratio men we're going to have five to ratio one which is part to part and for part to whole we're going to have here that men is one to ratio six while the women will be five to ratio six you can see a case where we have only one person or one item among a population next now we have a unique case here we have one two three four five girls but there is no boy how do you represent such a case this is zero to ratio five for the boys to ratio girls which is zero to ratio five here we have five to ratio zero in fraction we're going to have this as five to ratio zero for part to part but we have a problem here this will return zero in mathematics zero divide any number will return zero also in mathematics zero is not allowed to be at the denominator of any number when this happens we say that it is undefined in mathematics it does not exist and it tends to infinity here we're going to have undefined ratio this is a special case in ratio and in this isolated case this should not happen in ratio also this should not happen in ratio we can only represent this ratio in this form also in this form but never in fractional form whenever one of the comparing ratios is not available we can find this type of ratio in a girl's school likewise in a boy's school where only boys attend we can also apply ratio when comparing different fruits 
when comparing different colors of pencils, when finances are involved, and money have to be shared in some certain ratios, even when comparing cats and dogs and other animals, like taking the ratio of dogs to cats in a certain street, or when taking the ratio of some certain colors. I believe this was helpful. You have learned how to work with one and zero in ratio. If you find this video helpful, please click the like button. Also subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you in the next video.